Hello, and welcome to another edition of Spotlighting Paradise. I'm your host, Henry White. It's been a while, but we are continuing our series on holistic health and healing. And our guest today is none other than Alexa Aaron Williamson, who is a facilitator and the practitioner at Pure Currents Therapeutic and Lifestyle Alignment. So, welcome to the show, Alexa. Thanks, Henry. Yeah. Now, just for the folks out there, I, I just got to tell you this. We're today we're filming this. Uh, we're taping this show in early fall, and it is an absolute. Mm -hmm beautiful day out today. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about this. It's probably 80-something degrees. Um, so it's a, a great day to have this conversation. It's a great day in, for early fall in, in, in New England, but it's also a great opportunity and a great day to be talking about shifting and, and improving your body and alignment and that sort of holistic conversation today. So um, we're going to delve right in here and talk to Alexa. And first of all, how are you today? Great. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, it's a great day. So uh, we'll, we'll get into Pure Currents and what that's about. But um, let me just start out by asking you, um, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself. And um, like I know you're originally from South Deerfield. Um, or you grew up in South Deerfield. Mostly. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I moved around quite a bit as a kid and then um, landed in South Deerfield and at around fourth grade. and was there until I graduated high school. So right. it's quite a stretch of time in this gorgeous rural part of Massachusetts. Absolutely. That right the now valley. is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's really and of course as a kid I didn't I didn't quite understand what a what a gem it was until after I had moved around a little bit more and right. you know, seen seen more of the world. Absolutely. And yeah. speaking of moving around a little bit, I realized or found out that you spent a great deal of time in the central mass area I did, um, in yeah. Worcester. In Worcester, yeah. In Worcester, yeah, the <laughs> Woo. And uh, just, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting because uh, we have some, we found out that we have some mutual friends mm -hmm, in Worcester. Mm -hmm. I know uh, Charlie and Allison Hopkins, mm -hmm. great people. Um, yeah. Really great. Yeah, absolutely. And then Amy Mosier, who is a who's also great I know, in her I own know. special ways. Exactly. Yeah. I call her Miss Wu, but and not only that, <laughs> for the folks out there, probably if you you know the name, is she did a lot of um, work and projects here with me and and producing some shows and that sort of thing. So I always like when um, the dots sort of get connected around yeah. the synergy and good people. So I yeah. just wanted to give. You and our friends out there in Central Mass, <laughs> shout out. But anyway, yeah, that's so that's great. you you spent some time in, in Wooster. I did, yeah. Um, it's sort of, it was a little bit of a roundabout travel to get there. Mm -hmm. um, so I ended up moving out to California right after I graduated high school. Mm -hmm. And that's where I got involved in the healing arts. When I was 19, I actually started going to school um, for massage, knowing that that was just a stepping stone to get into doing um, the more subtle energy work that Absolutely. I was I was really drawn to. Um, so it's interesting you speak about connecting the dots because one of my friends out in San Francisco is friends with Charlie out here in Worcester. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, I ended up moving back to the valley. Um, and I started going to polarity school back in 96 um, that was out in Ipswich. Okay. So once I graduated from that school, um, they invited me to come be an instructor for their polarity program in a new school they were opening up out in Westboro. Right. So that was what got me to move out to Central Mass, mm -hmm. being that uh, it was you know, one of the jobs of my dreams. Oh, I can imagine. You know, working with so many people, focusing on body work mm -hmm. and energy work and mm -hmm. supporting people and learning about their own energy systems. And yeah, so that's what got me to move out there. And uh, I taught at the Institute for a few years um, and developed my practice out there. Right. That's yeah. interesting because, and you, you alluded to a little while ago, but you have 
you know, I've been doing, besides our conversation the other day, which was um, very fascinating, did my little research on you, and you, mm -hmm. you have almost 20 years of <laughs> healing, and I mean, you, you yeah. just mentioned the massage school, that was in 1994. Yes. And from yeah. that, um, you've done quite a bit of studies in different healing modalities. Yeah. And I know you just mentioned a little bit of about the polarity, um, mm -hmm. but talk about a little bit, uh, some more about your, your, your schooling and mm -hmm. your studies. Because mm -hmm. I think it's, it's awesome. It is, and it is fascinating. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would have to attest to that considering it's, you know, it's been something that I've, um, not only been dedicated to, but really that I've been very strongly internally drawn mm. to do mm -hmm. and to immerse myself in. And it, it, it just feels like um, I'm always studying. I, I have been, <laughs> my friends will attest to this. Right. <laughs> yeah, that she's always, she's always you know, learning and mm -hmm. practicing. And, and um, so it's, it's interesting now being that, yeah, that I've been official, officially professional for 19 years. Right. Um, because I think, you know, I was reflecting on this this morning that, you know, when I was 20, I was like, man, I got this down. Right. I'm so right on. You know, like all I, I know what's olds. going on. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Gonna save the world. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And And then, so... As I've continued with studying, and I'm sure most people can relate to this, um, then, yeah, of course, we get to that point where it's like, oh, my God, there's so much to learn. Absolutely. And then we become aware of what we don't know. Mm. And there's this vast, interesting, fascinating life. Absolutely. Um, so... Yes, I, I got very interested in polarity therapy, which um, is an amazing modality in mm. that it's very holistically minded, mm. um, in that all of the parts relate to the whole. Absolutely. And it's, it's very much based on relationships in the body and relationships in the being. Wow. So, for instance, if someone has um, a physical challenge that's playing itself out, mm -hmm. we know that there are subtler aspects to that. There, there are mental connections mm -hmm. to that. There are emotional connections to that. So, I could talk with you about the different modalities of, of um, and ways of approaching the body. Right and approaching the parts and listening and tuning in mm. and how we work with that. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, there's, there's a, a greater pattern that we're always working with, with all of these modalities, wow. which is essentially is that each person's spirit is trying to incarnate Absolutely. and be whole mm -hmm. and, and fully express itself. Mm -hmm. So there are so many ways to invite that in and Absolutely. to, you know, help the, the, the spirit all the way to the body shed its skin, mm. for example, you know, to shed any layer that was serving at one point and now it's in the way. Right. Or maybe you weighing know? down. And, right. and at this point is, is weighing down. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a that's a that's a great point, and I think um, that that term to listen to the spirits is mm -hmm. it really comes into play because if you are, as you're saying, becoming more in tune with your body and and working on your body and listening to it, then there are things that need to be moved, shift, or shed it. Yeah. So yeah, and that, it's a constant process. And it's a constant process. Exactly. So I support people in that, facilitate that, as well as pay you know, pay attention to that in my own day-to-day -day life. Right. You know, with exactly. every aspect of right. it. Right. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. I'm glad you said that, Alexa, yeah. because I was going to say with all of the studies that you do, I think that's yeah. a testament not only to your commitment to, you know, you know, professionalizing yourself more, but also to your 
personal characteristics and your personal uh, with your personal journey because the more you learn and grow and work on yourself mm -hmm. I, I would think that your clients and the people that you connect and heal and work with benefit from that as well so I wanted Absolutely. to acknowledge yeah. that because um, that came to mind when yeah. you were talking about that yeah so polar polarity therapy is one of your keystone modalities that yeah. you you do yeah it really mm -hmm. is polarity and craniosacral and craniosacral did i craniosacral. say that craniosacral yep craniosacral i always there get that go. a lot of people do yeah i think I know. it's working its way into people's awareness right more right more. we see it a lot but yeah. exactly um I want to talk about that, but before before we talk about that, mm -hmm. when I was looking at your website, one mm -hmm. of the things that really piqued my interest and um, something I, I I noted to to really ask you about was mm -hmm. the rise, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and and that's one of your modalities as well. Yes, yeah. And for the folks out there, what does rise stand for? It's R Y S E, mm -hmm. and it's Realizing your sublime energies. Realizing your sublime energies. Yeah. That, yeah. I mean, if that doesn't pique your interest, folks, <laughs> right? I don't know what will. <laughs> Who doesn't want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, talk yeah. about rise yeah. because that really got my energy yeah. going and, and, and my brain, mm. brain flowing. So mm -hmm. I want to hear more about it. Well, you know, essentially everyone has sublime energetic systems. Mm -hmm. Everyone has subtle energies, whether they know it or not. Absolutely. You know, it's just like everyone has a, a liver or a spleen, right. whether they ever think about that or know it. Right. You know, so we all have chakras, which are um, energy centers in the body, mm -hmm. so to speak. And we take it back to, you know, this idea of the, the spirit incarnating you know, here we have this very subtle energy, and it kind of needs sort of transformation mm. sites, in a sense, to, you know, to shift its energy into a more manifested, more physical, more mm -hmm. dense. So it's going from subtle to dense, and the chakras are one of those systems. Wow. So th we have a chakra on the top of the head, mm -hmm. and the energy comes in, it comes all the way down the spine, and then we've got chakras in the front and the back the spines down to the tail that comes out. So that's one of the systems right. that we work with. There's an inflow and an outflow, just like in the body. Mm -hmm. You know, we breathe in and we breathe out. Mm -hmm. We take food in, it becomes us, and we release what we're finished with or what we never wanted in the first Absolutely. place. Absolutely. Process. It's, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So there's this, this same sort of process happens in the subtle systems so they can get they can get stagnant they can get blocked um, any pattern for example if someone comes in and says you know I have this pattern of thought or this pattern of behavior that I really want to shift out of that shows up in these subtle systems mm -hmm. and it's very clear mm -hmm. so um, Nancy Risley is the founder of rise right and she, she started the Polarity Realization Institute, which mm -hmm. is the um, school that I went to in Absolutely. Ipswich. Uh, they opened another one up in Westboro. There's, there's one in Maine. There's one oh, in Plymouth. Wow. So yeah, so there are quite a few. Okay. They have since changed their name to Spa Tech, as they've been, you know, working their way in the world. Right. Exactly. Um, yeah. That's right. Working That's right. with what's happening, oh, and absolutely. you know. Yeah. It's the time you have to do that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So. Nancy has been working with polarity therapy for many, 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 many years. And, um, and she also sees energy systems. Mm. Um, so spending lots and lots of time looking at people's energy systems and noticing what's happening when, when someone's life is really working for them and mm. when they're feeling clear and they're feeling free and full in their mm -hmm. fullness. Absolutely. You know, what, what's happening there? And then so it's, I would say that RISE is a system of working with these subtle energetic systems. It, 
there are particular ways of, of working with the chakras, clearing them, right. repairing them, aligning them to the next levels mm. of what's, what's the next, what's the leading edge of someone's being? Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I find that fascinating. <laughs> I have to be honest. It I mean, is, I find yeah. your hmm. practice, I find this, the holistic um, um, energy and vibe just um, fascinating because mm -hmm. it's, it's really about balance and, and now I'm coming from a personal perspective. Yeah. Um, alignment, which is, mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. a lot of what you focus on, which I really mm -hmm. love because if, you, if, there's, if you're not aligned, you're probably not balanced. Um, and it's also about continuous, you know, or continuously bettering yourself. Yes. Um, not only mentally, but physically, spiritually, emotionally. And um, yeah. I think if you w continuously work on those things, then, you know, no matter what's happening in, in life and in the world, as you know, we, I mean, as we sit here today, there's a <laughs> government shutdown and uh, we can all be freaking out about it, um, which, <laughs> <laughs> Or <laughs> we can be working on ourselves and, 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 and as we're doing today, having a conversation about what we can do to better ourselves, which in, will have the ripple effect in the world and the universe. So I, this, exactly, this type of conversation, yeah. this conversation fascinates me. So Yeah, because you're tuned in that, you know, there's a holographic uh, relationship going on here. Absolutely. So as we as we make sure that we are moving forward and then that affects the everything Absolutely. and everyone. That's right. And this whole idea of, you know, moving forward or fully manifesting, mm. that can be, you know, certain people or, and all people at different times can be really focusing on healing mm -hmm. particularly. Mm -hmm. And then there are times when it's like, okay, that, that, there may have been a big healing process, right? But then that can feel a lot easier, and it can just be okay. Well, there's a a release of certain things. Absolutely. There's a, there's a shedding the, of the skin, and, and a there's shift. A, a a shift mm. and an and an invitation for all right. Well, what's my leading edge? Absolutely. You know, I'm not in pain around these things. That's right. I could do a little better in one way or another. Oh, so, absolutely. Well, there's it, a whole spectrum. There's a whole spectrum, and what it sounds like, what you're saying also, is you, it's, it's tools. You're giving people the tools to, to, for the next leg of the journey, because yeah, the journey yeah. continues. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Well, that's the beauty of it. That's right? the beauty of it. Exactly. So you know, the more you work, and the more tools you get in that, and and, and uh, the more you feel like you can con continue and persevere on, how much better is that? Right. So. Right. So I'm glad you said the tools because. That, you know, that's exactly it. Um, you know, I have people come in and they lie down on the table and they receive work. And then, and then also mm. there are people, and, and that's, that's great. That's great for everyone, yeah. you know, because there are certain things that we tend to be attached to, mm. whereas I'm not attached. When someone comes in, it's like, is this working? Is this in the way? Right, exactly. Or is it not? That's right. Okay, well, we can support that in shifting. Right. Um, exactly. And that's where the facilitation comes in, right? Right. In well, and the of, facilitation moves to the next level uh, for people who are like, okay, what can I do absolutely. for myself? Absolutely. So, you know, RISE, for example, that's something that, that people can also learn. Mm -hmm. They can learn, in, learn mm -hmm. to tune in with their own systems and manage right. them and shift them. Absolutely. Themselves. And speaking of that, folks, um, if you go to the website, and we'll give you more information about that um, before we end, uh, RISE is a five-part course or, or, or four... It's four or it's five. four yeah. or five part, sort of mm -hmm. workshop-oriented. Yeah. Um, and I would encourage you, again, uh, we'll give you the address to go to the website mm -hmm. and check it out. Um, so... Now we talked about polarity and we talked mm -hmm. about rise, mm -hmm. which was again one of my, what I what piqued my interest. You you also do um, yoga classes, and I know you talked yeah. a little bit about that. Yeah. And then there there's other thing that sort of struck or stuck with me was this sacred sound. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> I'll be honest, initially, you know, I kind of said, oh wow, that's interesting. It seemed a little left field, but you know, after. <laughs> 
our conversation mm -hmm. and going a little more in depth, um, it totally falls in line or is aligned with the spectrum of what you do. So if you want to talk yeah. briefly about uh, uh, your sacred sound, sure, that would be great. Okay. Um, well, with with all of the tools <laughs> that I have in, in mm -hmm. my bag here <laughs> like that, to, to work with people um, and to support, r really what, what we're doing is we are working with vibration. Mm. So sound is obviously another vibration. I, I work particularly with people's voices. Mm. And then sometimes we'll, you know, we'll certainly bring out some rhythmical instruments to, you know, nice. shift shift the energy. Absolutely. Like a little um, drum in a little A little bit of drum, oh, a little nice. bit of rattling, okay. you know, to no, it really, really bring it really alley. brings in those <laughs> those joyful energies. Right, the joy, you know? that's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the yeah. joy, the, the, joy fun. Yeah, the more upbeat energy times. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um but the voice is is really one of the most healing instruments mm. that each person has their own and it's special to their own their own healing. Mm -hmm. And so there are so many ways that we work with the voice to support people in feeling really comfortable Absolutely. in their voice, accepting all of the all of the creaks and the cracks that right. that open up mm -hmm. to the most exquisite oh, I can sounds. Yeah. You know, yeah. each person ultimately falls in love with their own sound. Oh man. You know how cool yeah. is that? <laughs> yeah, and it's and it's sacred because it is it's again it's it's the soul expressing itself, mm. and and we hold the space for it. Oh man, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and I would imagine there's an honoring of yourself in that whole thing of you know. Huge. Exactly, which is yeah. awesome. Yeah, and and it and we take away the old. Um, ideas that people often have around it's supposed to sound good, it's right. supposed to sound any particular way. Right. Uh, uh, people so often have judgments in the way of them even getting close mm. to themselves mm. in, in that way. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. Well, you, yeah, I, I got to say, you're doing uh, 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 a wonderful work in, in, in the world. Thank you. And um, just talking to you and, um, you know, we met, um, seemed like just a few days ago, but <laughs> um, in terms of, you know, talking about what we were going to discuss. And I just felt your energy and your passion for, mm -hmm. um, for what you're doing and your commitment to really working on people and helping them feel better about themselves. And it's an important work. It really is. Absolutely. Now, um, I'm going to move this conversation forward because I'm starting to get a little excited or a lot <laughs> more excited about um, you do uh, massage therapy. Mm -hmm. And before um, we start wrapping up, where does all of this work go down? Like, um, do you have an office in Northampton? I do. I have an office in downtown Northampton. Mm -hmm. um, I also have an office in Holden, which is a town right next to Worcester out oh, okay. in Central Mass. Right. So there's yeah. another extra layer of, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm working in both places. Right. And um, I, I recently relocated back here to the valley. Um, Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, it's really <laughs> nice to be back. Yeah, it's a special place here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, and I'm ready. I enjoyed what I was doing before, and I was mm -hmm. ready for this shift. Um, so we'll see where uh, where is the right place for me to uh, teach yoga when that when Absolutely. that when that yeah, comes when around that comes and around. feels right. It will, yeah. and then also sound classes will open up again. Absolutely. And yeah, so I think what we'll tell the folks out there again is to go to the website, and now we will give you the website information, <laughs> which is purecurrent. Purecurrent.net. Dot net, and that's pure, P-U-R-E, current, one word, C-U-R-R-E-N-T, dot net, and you'll find out, again, more about what she does, but also some updates on things that are going to be happening in the near future, like 
yoga and uh, sound classes. Um, now, one of the things I, I briefly mentioned was um, my excitement is, Alexa, you have um, volunteered actually or, or said that you would do a little demonstration of one of your yoga modalities or one of your massage modalities <laughs> with me. Actually, I'm going to do, I'll do a little bit of polarity. A little bit of yeah. polarity. Yep. So uh, we're going to cut for, for this, folks, and we encourage you to stay tuned, and um, we'll see you in just a few. Welcome back, and we're going to go right into the demo. So uh, I have already centered myself before I would approach you. And then um, I'm just going to start out there. Good. And I'm just going to do a quick little scan of your spine because that's what we are going to work on. So mm -hmm. I can just get my own little read of, of the areas that might be um, a little tense for you. Mm -hmm. The spine in all of these modalities is, so I'm going to put my hand up underneath your neck here. The, the spine is one of the, it's, it's like the place, one of the purest places in the physicality or the purest place in the physicality where the spirit incarnates. So what I'm going to do is come down here to your lowest vertebrae here. So I'm just starting out, of course, getting familiar with where your spine is. Mm. And just getting the energy moving. And so part of the reason my left hand is up here at your neck is because we're working with a relationship of the bottom to the top, getting the energy moving from the bottom to the top, top to the bottom. And when we have these two polar areas engaged, that invites them to flow much more fully. Well, folks, <laughs> as you can see, Alexa, with Pure Current Therapeutics and Alignment has a has various modalities in holistic healing that she does. I want to thank you, Alexa, for stopping by today and talking to us about it. And you I'm enjoying welcome. this work here that you're doing now. <laughs> um, don't forget, folks, to go to the website, purecurrent.net. I want to thank NCTV, Northampton Community TV, and the staff and all the volunteers that helped make this show possible. Um, if you have any show ideas or you want to give me, send me any comments, feel free. SpotlightingParadise at gmail.com or go to NorthamptonCommunityTV.org. I'll leave you with this. Too often, we underestimate the power of a touch. A smile, a kind word, a listening ear, an honest compliment, or the smallest act of caring, all of which have the potential to turn a life around. Until next time on Spotlighting Paradise, peace and blessings, and keep the faith. Okay.